But one thing, the older I get, I keep saying it. I need to move to the middle of the country so I don't have to have neighbors. I need to move to the middle of the country. Yeah. This would take care of the problem for me. So, you know, on average in America right now, uh, couples have 1.94 kids on average. That's Mm -hmm. the average um, rate of birth. And that's terrible because that's not replacing. We're not replacing the amount of deaths that are happening in our country. So if you want to save a culture, guys, those of you that are men out there right now that have a family, you're like, ah, one kid, two kid. Nah. Yeah. Step up. It's time to step up. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Joseph Guy. And I am Dan Eats Everything. Would you eat a bucket of fried chicken... But all the feathers were still attached to those poor chickens. No, for two reasons. I thought Danny had everything, guys. I'm sorry. Hold hold on. Hold the horn. Hold the horn. Phone. It used to be a horn. Uh, hold the phone. You, sir, have challenged me last week to not eat chicken. I have yet to eat chicken. Because nobody's placed it in front of you? That's a lie. I ate chicken yesterday. I forgot. (laughs) I really did forget. I forgot. Uh, Here's the thing. I didn't order it. Um, Somebody made chicken. presented in front of you? It was. Somebody, I didn't ask for chicken. Uh, Somebody asked me what I wanted to eat, and I said, I don't care, and then... I guess going forward, I'll just have to be specific. I'm, I I don't want chicken. You went a little while. You went like what a week? Almost a full week. <laughs> uh, but you know. But you know. But you know. But you know. So uh, what's what's uh speak? I heard, I heard you had a date in your shake there. H- how's your how's your date shake? Uh, there's five dates in it. It's very, very tasty. Mm. What else is in it? You said bananas, bananas strawberries. and strawberries. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. It's delightful, actually. It's actually quite delightful. Have you seen my baseball? I've not seen your wiener, no. Did you see, did you see that the, the Yankees are uh, advancing here? And... Um, most likely looking like they're going to go to the uh, World Series. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> a lot of people. Okay. Me. Kind of. Uh, two. When, when are you, when's your Fruity Festival? Huh? When, when's Fruity Festival? Uh, October 19th and 20th. It's like next week almost, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to yeah. Dallas on the 16th. Okay. And then I'm going you flying, to... and driving? I'm flying to Dallas. Then on the 19th, I'm flying to Austin. And Why not just drive? Because I don't have a car. It's like a... Yeah, rent one. It's like a... It's like a and, dude, you can stop at a Bucky's. Have you ever been to Bucky's? Several times. Bucky's, I mean... If I ever quit my job, I want to work at Bucky's. Why? It's still a gas station. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't work at a gas station now. <laughs> no, I'm saying Bucky's. Oh, it's, it's only it's, a gas station? Just because it's He's, like Bucky's, it's still a gas station. How dare you? Only a gas station. Anyways, um, I, uh, I, started, I started trying to get buff again for the first time. You all right? <laughs> yeah. You... And what happened? I I started trying to get buff again for the first time. We'll see if it hurt or it works this time. 
It hurt last time. Did it hurt? (laughs) It hurt last time. We're going to see if it hurts this time. All right. I lifted lifted one weight. I didn't see any improvement yet, but we'll get there. One weight. One pound of weight. Well, no. I I lifted more than that. Well, no. How many... Uh, 16, yeah, no, it was 16 ounces. 16 ounces, yeah. So it was one pound. <laughs> so it was one pound. They don't make beers much bigger, bro. What do you want me to well, do? I, that's, what I, that's what I figured. Okay, I'll just go. It's fine. What do you got to show us today, Joe? Uh, Here's this Cheers. case. I totally get that you're busy... You've got personal things going on in your life, lots of distractions on the news given from the mainstream media. There's a lot going on, but I don't know if you realize this, but it's been over a year since the Georgia Guidestones were blown up and nobody's talking about it anymore. And if you don't know what the Georgia Guidestones are, it's a bunch of tall stone tablets where it has written on them the same exact text in a bunch of different languages. One of the wonderful things that whoever put up this monument thought to put on here was maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. If you do the math, that's like a 90% reduction in the current claimed population of the earth. But other than just saying some weird stuff like we should kill everybody, it also had some astronomical features. One. The channel through the stone indicates the celestial pole, Polaris. Hmm. Talk about that in a second. The horizontal slot indicates the annual travel of the sun. And three, sunbeam through the capstone marks noontime throughout the year. Now that channel that they were talking about drilled through the rock is this hole right here. And you could have walked up to this hole at any time of the year, day or night, And this hole would be aiming at Polaris, the celestial pole. So, Georgia Guidestones want us to have a population of 500 million or less. On the the planet? Yeah, that's what the Georgia Guidestones said. Supposedly, our population is 8 million right now. On the planet? Yeah, on the plane. 8 million. Try, like... Isn't it in the? Aren't we in the billions? We're in the billions eight, of people. Yeah, eight billion. I thought you said million. No, no. There's eight billion people on the plane, supposedly. What we're yeah. told. Yeah. Yeah. And on Georgia Guy Stones, it said that the population should be no more than five hundred million. You've heard of this guy, right? We've been talking about taking the Earth's population from 8 billion people to 500 million. It was on the Georgia Guidestones. All these people in the World Economic Forum talk about it openly, and you're too busy scrolling through the gram to take it serious. These people intend to do this. This is what communists do. Most people out here are totally clueless as to what this is all about. These people are trying to fucking remove you from the planet. That's what's happening here. Are we interrupting something? <laughs> so you get it. They, 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 the people that erected these uh, guide stones want depopulation. You understand that? You're, you're saying that at the World World Economic Forum, that's what he's saying. They're, they're talking about depopulating the, the yeah. planet. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm this not is, saying he's wrong. This is a government document. It's a Deagle report for the forecast by country. <clears throat> and this lady is going to go over the populations. Oh, nice. A joker. You, you see? Okay, so this is the Deagle yeah, forecast yeah. by country nice. for 2025. And if we look at some of the ones that are highlighted here, here, let's go to like Australia. Australia is projected to lose 34.6% of its population. That is nearly 10 million people. 
in two years. Then we can go down to, say, Canada. This is where I'm at. We're going to lose one in four people by 2025. And now this government document is handed out. It is an actual, legit document. You can Google search it. You can look it up. Um, we got, like, Cyprus, Denmark, Estonia, France, Germany. Germany is catastrophic right here. That is insane. Same with Greece. Um, Japan is is heartbreaking. It's 19%, but it is 20, 25 million people. That's that's like the population of Canada. And we got Libya losing over almost half its population, and Luxembourg losing over half its population. Malta. Moldova, New Zealand, Norway. And we got Puerto Rico losing over half of its population there. And Portugal, again, one in four people are going to be gone. Same with St. Lucia. Um, South Korea, Spain is losing half of its population. Sweden, Switzerland, Syria. Like, these numbers are catastrophic, and I don't think people are realizing or tying this all together like look at the united states and the united kingdom and the ukraine um this is insane i mean on one hand i'm not i'm not agreeing or saying that that needs to happen but or like would i be down for killing that many people ever um but one thing, the older I get, I keep saying it. I need to move to the middle of the country so I don't have to have neighbors. I need to move to the middle of the country. Yeah. This would take care of the problem for me. I, you know, at the end of the day. Here's a bunch of uh, rich assholes talking about it uh, on, like, C-SPAN or one of those fucking forum channels or whatever. They talk about it on TV. Openly. Mason. Freemasons. Just recently, uh, in the people who go to Davos are the architects and controllers of money and the politics of the world. And he came back and he said to me that it is a definite systematic plan because they have worked out they need to get rid of at least a third of the people on the earth. And I said to him, does that include me? And he said, no, it doesn't include you. Uh, because you're of European stock. You're one of us. One, yeah, well, this, one this of is, them, these are not my words. These are Bill Gates' words. Yeah. Yeah, just just yeah. Uh, Google G Bill Gates and depopulization and sterilization. You'll, you'll hear out of his own mouth the plan. And then if, if that's not enough for you, then listen to uh, uh, Henry Kissinger and his words, where he talks about how this is a win-win situation and the mandation and mandating vaccines is part of the plan for depopulation and and uh, uh, the poor doctor, his grace had a question forgive me counsel so what do you think about that um it makes a lot of sense man it makes a lot of sense especially if they think like if you kind of look at everything that's going on objectively um they're trying to push AI, trying to push robots, right? Autonomous vehicles, autonomous manufacturing. Yeah. And then also, let's get rid of people. What people do you think they're going to get rid of? Yeah. The pe middle class. Yeah, the middle class. The in the lower and middle class. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I see this this picture. I haven't seen it in a while, but there's there's a picture that was on uh, social media, and it was of Bill Gates, and it was like, Bill Gates did this, didn't get out of or got out of line for somebody, and he's just a normal guy. And there's like a picture of Bill Gates sitting and standing in line like a little fucking dork, but like they make. They have these memes out here that make people believe that he's like a fucking saint and he's here to help us. And there's a lot of people that actually think Bill Gates is a good guy. This is Bill Gates. Listen to what he says. 
my full-time work at the foundation is mostly about vaccines and seeds, about the things that we need to invent and deliver to help the poorest two billion live better lives. But energy and climate are extremely important to these people. In fact, more important than to anyone else on the planet. This equation has four factors, a little bit of multiplication. So you've got a thing on the left, CO2, that you want to get to zero. And that's going to be based on the number of people, the services each person's using on average, the energy on average for each service, and the CO2 being put out uh, per unit of energy. So let's look at each one of these and see how we can get this down to zero. Uh, first, we've got population. Now, uh, the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. I ask you, if we, do good, if we do a good job with new vaccines, health care, and like some child reproductive services, we can lower that by 10 to 15 percent. What does that mean? <laughs> it uh, it's starting starting to make sense why the why the Democrats care so much about uh uh what's that thing they care oh so much about <gasps> abortion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you know, bro, they want they want to depopulate. Like one thousand percent. I mean, I don't like a lot of people, so I see where they're coming from. I see where they're coming from. I don't like a jokes lot of people. And jokes and <laughs> jokes and spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> um, here's this chick that you swore you were going to vote for in November. <laughs> when we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population. <laughs> More of our children She's can breathe nuts. clean air and drink clean water. If we depopulate a whole bunch of people, then more people can have cleaner air. <laughs> she must have been in like Alabama or something with that accent. Right, Georgia. That was when she was in Georgia. Yeah. It's ridiculous. She put on she put on her black scent for Georgia. Her black scent. Um, and no, I don't mean Dracar Noir. Here's a, um, a couple of, uh, what would you call them? Snippets from a book by one of the, one of the guys in the Bilderbergs. Yaquez Atali. Anyway, he said, the future will be about finding a way to reduce the population. Of course, we will not be able to execute people of or build camps. We get rid of them by making them believe it is for their own good. We will find or cause something, a pandemic, targeting certain people, a real economic crisis or not, a virus affecting the old or the elderly. It doesn't matter. The weak and the fearful will succumb to it. The stupid will believe it and ask to be treated. We will have taken care of having panned the treatment, a treatment that will be the solution. The selection of idiots will therefore be done by the by itself. They will go to the slaughterhouse alone. This was a That's 1981 cool. book, and they the plan was already in place. For world population, released by the United Nations, as of now, have just surpassed 8 billion people living on Earth. In 1800, there were only 900 million members of the human family spread across the world, raising to 1.65 billion in 1900, and skyrocketing to nearly 7 billion in the year 2000. Now, in 2023, we have allegedly just passed the 8 billion mark. Given past failures and the many lies spewed by the UN during recent world events, however, it is fair and justified to remain skeptical of such statistics and to do some independent investigation before blindly believing. By collecting official statistics and doing your own math, it is difficult to find a way for these numbers to add up. For example, India supposedly has a countrywide population of well over 1.4 billion citizens. But when practical calculations are made, 
using the UN's own numbers, how they could possibly conclude such a high figure is clear as mud. Taking their official figures of populations from the largest 300 cities in India, from 12.4 million in the biggest city Mumbai, to just over 100,000 in the 300th placed city of Aurangabad, and adding them all together, that barely accounts for 200 million of this supposed 1.4 billion. If all the 300 places with the largest populations in India taken together only account for 200 million people, it is statistically and geographically impossible for there to be another seven times this number mysteriously hiding out in the remaining small towns and villages with populations all lower than 100,000. A similar situation occurs when adding up the official figures for the entire world's 300 most populated cities. Taking the UN's own official statistics, from 24.1 million in the world's largest city of Shanghai, China, to only 361,000 people in the 300th largest city of Beirut, Lebanon, the combined figures only come out to approximately 1 billion people. Even after adding all the statistics calculated for surrounding metropolitan and suburban housing areas around each city, the total only amounts to around 1.5 billion. Where are these other alleged 6.5 billion people hiding? Being generous, independent analysts have estimated at most another billion people who could possibly be spread out across the world's rural countrysides, still putting the actual number well below 3 billion. The likely reason for these exaggerated statistics is that governments are incentivized to lie about population figures in order to collect more money for social programs. Then, by raising population figures to shocking levels, fear is created in the minds of the masses and they are even more easily able to control and sell us on expensive, enslaving solutions. This hoax has resulted in billions of dollars spent fighting the phantom of so-called overpopulation, and led to many inhumane population control programs. In reality, however, if everyone were all squeezed into a population density of 27,000 per square mile, which is comparable to New York City, 8 billion people would only fill up the state of Texas, leaving the entire rest of the world uninhabited. Thus, the idea that Earth is dangerously overpopulated and governments need to take drastic measures to combat the issue is another paper tiger attempting to scare us into submission. Overpopulation concerns led China to enact a brutal one-child policy. Forced sterilization is a method of population control in some countries. Nearly a quarter million Peruvian women were sterilized. Our government, through the UN Population Fund, is involved in population moderation programs around the world, including in India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Magdalia, Mexico, Indonesia, Brazil, the Philippines, Thailand, Egypt, Turkey, Ethiopia, and Colombia. The greatest threat to mankind's prosperity is government, not population growth. Govern me harder, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Mm. Uh, so not only is... I think, obviously, the Earth doesn't have 8 million people on it, 8 billion people on it. I think that's a fucking giant lie. Um, I mean, just based off his little bit of math right there. And then I've driven across the country multiple times. There's nothing there. Dude, there's nothing there. I I've, I've also have driven across the country, and there were some very vast areas of this country in, <laughs> Yo. in, in, in between the cities. Yeah. Right. Like near the big cities, there's obviously there's suburbs and then those suburbs turned into farms and then it turns into nothingness. Yeah. Until you get to a farm and then a suburb and then a city again. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, I, yeah, I could. Okay. So, All right. I'll play along for now. So the, they, you saw the people talking, the people that are in control of everything people that got yeah. all the money talking about depopulation they yeah. had a monument that says they want depopulation go ahead uh back to the the gates uh segment you played there um i'd like to know i'd like more context because it happens to a lot of people it happens to you know trump and kamala all the time you know they they'll take a a speech and snip part of it and like you're not getting the full context, so I'm I'm wondering maybe if he was talking about something else there, not actual the po you know, we can get that population down by ten to fifteen percent. Maybe he was talking about you know something. Who knows? I want to I want to see the full speech. Oh, TED Talks 2010, Bill Gates. I don't know what I won't. streaming service has. I it. won't. I won't look it up. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I'm just Bill saying. Gates has also talked about it in other interviews and shit too. I've. I've heard that, and I've also heard that yeah. he owns like more farming long 
farming land across the United States yep. and any anybody else, any other private owner. That's some scary shit right there. <clears throat> yeah, because those, the those who can control the food control the population. He's the one that had. He's the software engineer that is head up on all these vaccines and shit. That makes yeah. sense. Total sense. Um, yeah, he's been vac- vaccinating Africa, the the women in Africa for a very bro. long time. So, this is a theory. This is a conspiracy theory right here. You ever heard this one? I'm Bill listening. and Melinda Gates were in Africa testing out a vaccine. And they killed this child and the parents and the people of the town hung Bill and Melinda Gates. And this is back in like, I don't know, around the 2010s. And so the people that are walking around right now aren't Bill and Melinda Gates. They're doubles because the real Bill and Melinda Gates were hung by a family that their son got killed by a vaccine. Okay. But that's a conspiracy theory. That is a conspiracy theory. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, but yeah, so not only are you saw the people trying to tell us that they want depopulation, you saw their monument mm-hmm. for depopulation. But if you take if you do the math and you like he just did in that video and we're barely at three billion people, if you took eight billion people and you gave them all an acre of land, they'd fit in Texas. All the land in the world. And if you took their number, it'd be, we'd all fit in Texas. But there's like 3 billion, not 8 billion. Here's another video. Population figures, folks. Overpopulation. How is there 7 billion people in the world? How can that possibly be? Well, they just tell us there's 7 billion people in the world and we believe it. But at the turn of the last century, there was 1 billion people in the world, so we were told. So how did that suddenly climb 6 billion people in 100 years? You know, I released a short film back in 2008 called Fight the New World Order with Global Noncompliance. And I was assuming then that the world population figures were 6 billion because that's what we were told. And I'd never really thought about it. But even with that figure, I pointed out in that film that if you gave every man, woman and child on earth a quarter acre block of land, you could fit them in an area the size of Australia and still have half of Queensland and the entire rest of the world left over. And if you gave everybody their own normal house block, you could fit the entire world population in an area the size of Texas. We're not overpopulated. <clears throat> the problem is people don't want to live in those extremely rural, dense I do. Uh, or uh, challenging environments. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people don't want don't want to do that. D. They like. Why do you think they put all the sports teams and the entertainment and all this in the big cities and shit? That's why all of the entertainment is there because they want people living in those big cities to make people think that we're overpopulated. Okay. Okay. I think they put them there because that's where the people are and that's how they that's where the, they're going to have the best opportunity to make more money. You put you put a a sports team in a area that's not populated one you're not going to have any fans to pay for anything to go to the games or you know buy memorabilia whatever the case may be because there's nobody around <laughs> nobody's going to go to some area where there's nothing <clears throat> okay all right all right all right what what, what <laughs> else could be another uh, another way they're de- trying to depopulate us food food big time yes he- yes absolutely he- health care Medicine, um, the weather. It's okay to be a boy. It's okay to be a girl if you oh, feel like you want to be a yeah. boy or a girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go marry your husband. 
Fast forward on this point, the ultimate agenda that we are looking at that this enemy is pushing is depopulation. We have to get this through our mind. That way we can remove the emotion from it. Take the emotion out of it, look at Very it for logical. what the purpose is. Yeah. Be logical about this. What type of government would encourage men being with men, women being with women, and remove the ability to procreate? What kind of government would inspire such a thought? Now, before anyone says, well, people who are same sex and still procreate, no, you can't. You cannot have sex and have a child. Right. Knock it off. I'm not talking about artificial insemination. I'm not talking about any of that. No, no, no. I'm talking about literally a woman cannot get another woman pregnant. A man cannot get a man pregnant. A man does not have a womb. Let's knock it off. Let's be serious about this. <laughs> what kind of government would encourage such a thing? A government that wants to get rid of you, but wants to get rid of you in a way where you will accept it and where you will volunteer to do it yourself. They don't want these people on the planet no more. These people, I'm talking about three to four billion human beings on the planet, they don't want. According to the National Security Study Memorandum 200 under Dr. Henry Kissinger, the 32nd Secretary of State under President Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, he stated, quote, depopulation should be the highest priority of U.S. foreign policy towards the third world, end quote. But they had 13 foreign countries that they listed and said, these are the countries that we are going to push for our same-sex policy adoption, same-sex ideology, same-sex everything. And they pushed it on all of those countries and then they started pushing it here domestically as well. They want to get rid of over three to four billion human beings on the planet. That's really the foundation of this thing. But too many people are caught up in the emotion of it. When I hear about stuff like that, a lot of people say like the world's population could fit in Texas alone. That like, you know what is I mean? a fact. So how is there overpopulation in that in that sense? It's a lot. Then they'll say resources, right? Because mm -hmm. you have roughly 29 okay. million useful square miles mm -hmm. on the planet, right? right? 29 million square miles of useful land. Okay. If the majority of people can fit in Texas, the majority of people on the planet, literally, we're talking about the roughly 8 billion human beings. And if you've ever driven through Texas, you know that's not too crazy to believe. Then the question becomes, are we really overpopulated? Hillary Clinton was saying overpopulation. Henry Kissinger, overpopulation. President Jimmy Carter with Global 2000, overpopulation. It was a lie, a damn lie, and they knew it was a lie, but they wanted to push that and then get the people to be programmed to believing it so that the people can push it on each other, attack each other, same thing they do with shots, boom, 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 they start going in on each other, and then that's when you get everything from abortion to vasectomies, everything to prevent you from procreating. You sound crazy. You don't want your existence to live on, and you think that's a benefit to that? Who put that thought in your head and why? They want to get rid of the majority of people. Why at this point? Because the majority of people are no longer being controlled. Again, depopulation is the goal. That's what we have to look at. So when you're looking at the trans thing, the drag stuff, all that, you doing being half naked around children, what's wrong with you? You're a pedophile. You got these gay folks calling out just pedophiles mm -hmm. because the pedophiles are using the gay movement like they did way back then. Again, you gotta go back to the enemy because if you get caught up looking at the people, then you're gonna be too busy arguing and fighting the people. And rightfully so to a degree. Some people, you gotta be like, pops, sit, show, sit down. You can't be around my baby. Nope. Not my child, go with it. But the enemy is always the one puppeteering and controlling this. Satan is, is doing his job. I never thought I would see the day where the White House would have the LGBT flag hanging with the trans flag and all the other stuff, the child predator flag, all that right there in front of the White House. Make sure you put that up on the screen. Brother, I'm <laughs> telling you now, when that happened, do you know the world is watching us? You know, the world is watching America, right? They talking shit too. Oh man, you know, America has been the bully of the world for years in the bully using her military might to oppress and suppress. You're talking about over 700 military bases that are currently occupying different nations all over the world. And they're looking like your men are women, huh? Hey, look, y'all gotta look at it from a military perspective. Yeah. You're looking at these foreign nations who've been waiting for some get back. You invaded my nation, you killed my women, my children, you bombed us for no reason. So all your men now, they, they women, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're pushing not to make your men stronger, but to now say, hey, you can be a woman if you want, pushing the gay stuff, pushing, oh, okay. The number one priority is LGBT rights. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. They looking and they are fortifying, they exercising, they working out hard, they're training because they're waiting for that point where they are able to then become the big dog themselves. You're talking about China. You know about BRICS? These nations are not playing. Yeah. They're not playing. And they said, oh, wow, America, you're priority is to have men chop off their penises and testicles. Wow. Good. Keep going. Right. Keep going. I don't know about y'all, but I'm cool with my masculinity. I'm going to keep working out and exercising because now it's a war type of environment and atmosphere that's brewing. So while everybody's pushing sex this and trans this and blah, 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 emotion, I feel like this and all that. Other nations is looking like y'all crazy. So we about to go ahead and get ready to be the big dog now. Uganda passed the law where they said if you identify as LGBTQ and all that, you going to jail. Now, a lot of folks that I've spoken to, a part of that community, was like, man, Reese, that's wrong. You know, see, see what I'm saying? It's like, that's Africa. You're not going to go 
into the historical target of your colonizing ancestors to try to recolonize in a modern time, but dress it up as democracy. Why aren't you accepting the same sex? And they're like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> they're looking at you like, you do know your grandparents did that already. They came and forced homosexuality on us. You forced all that on us. You doing it again? Do you not read history? They pissed. Not only is it disrespectful, but you don't realize you're trying to get them to accept an ideology that ends with no procreation. Bro. Homie just dropped a gang of facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Bro, shit. It, it really is. It's all about depopulation, man. Now you got to rewind that and listen to him again. Um, yeah. Gang, that dude. Spitting. No. Knowledge. That knowledge. guy, knowledge. so much, so much knowledge coming yeah. from him. Yeah. Wild. It's true though, man. Angle. Yeah. It's it's true though. Like, yeah. That that makes sense. Look at you, dude. It's all indoctrination. Look at you. It's Look all indoctrination. You. It's all brainwashing. All of it. You don't think people are born gay? No, I don't. Because uh, they dude, weren't. I, I don't know if we've talked about it on this on this podcast before, but there's a I, I think we had there was a Russian guy who wrote a book on how to uh, like take over America or take over yeah take over America. He wrote it like twenty thirty years ago, and you literally he, he it's all laid out. You start with the education system and corrupting them, and then it trickles trickles down. And yeah, I think I think we Vla may have Vladimir talked about or something. It. Yeah, um, but it's hey guys, Kowski. it's working. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it's it, he, he, he. There's a whole speech. He, you can probably yeah. find it in certain if you want to, but uh, there's a whole speech that he gives on how to infiltrate and ruin America. Yeah, and he's done it. It, it they did it. <laughs> <laughs> they did it. But we got We got to stop. At some point, we got to stop it. I think maybe because well, the playbook was already happening when he was talking about it. Yeah. Here's one like last it. video. Here's <laughs> one. Like here's one last way they're depopulating us. <laughs> I don't like it here. What if population control was really created by everyone being convinced that hookup culture is okay and you don't need hey. to get married and having kids is awful? Because honestly, that's kind of hey. what the reality is seeming like right now. I feel attacked. We got, stop slut shaming. Stop fucking. Right. It's okay to be a giant fucking whore. Fuck whoever you want. It, no, it is. It's okay. It's okay. But that's also adding to depopulation. You stop. You stop showing me stuff. Why did you stop sharing me? Oh, that's is that all the I got? Yeah, oh, okay. I, I thought he. I thought he was gonna break it down for us. No, 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 no. no. That's all I got. All I got. I said uh, remember that. So. Highlight of this video, definitely that I think he was he uh what's it called? Who? Oh God, the black guy with the bow tie was where, was he a what? Uh, wasn't Malcolm X one of them? Oh, black was he Panther? part of a group? Black Panther. Oh, Usually, I, like the the they wear the bow ties. So I'm not sure. I don't know if the Black Panthers are still around. Oh, they're still around, dude. Oh, maybe okay. he might be then. He might be then. But not that there's anything wrong. Dude, Black Panthers were about their business, man. Like, they're about family traditions. Very, very um, conservative, right? So. I, I mean, I showed you in the rap conspiracy video that fucking the FBI fucking planted bombs and fucking blamed it on them. Yeah. So. Yeah, because the FBI didn't want uh black people to be successful in america yeah so which is crazy bro like <sighs> but anyways uh that black guy was i think the highlight of all your your uh videos here he really uh he won me over yeah uh he's so, dropping, uh, dropping them facts do you think that we're overpopulated one i don't not no not even close as a as a plant or as a country or as a planet as a plane i i as a country, I don't think so, but I've seen videos of people in like, um, yeah, like India. Those are the cities where everybody works. 
go a fucking two blocks away from that fucking intersection. Nothing. I mean, I, I watched this one guy. Uh, what the hell is his name? Um, this one YouTuber. He's a travel YouTuber. YouTuber. Um, but dude, like all his videos when he goes to certain countries, uh, especially when he was over in India, it it was jam packed, bro. Well, India but, is the one they were using the math for. Yeah. And basically broke down that they have nowhere near. What was it? Almost three billion in that country. Yeah. So. I'm just saying. So like, maybe I don't know. I I don't think I don't think so. I don't think we're overpopulated. Like if if we do the math about uh, all the people on the planet fitting in in comfortably in Texas, I even like even let's just say Alaska, like all the people could fit in Alaska. There's still a lot of country Let's left. Go to Alaska. Yeah. Unless don't go if you're a woman, but as a man you could go. So if you decide to switch it up on us, don't go to Alaska if you're a woman. Yeah, it's one of the rapiest states. Oh in really? The, in the yeah, it's like because there's it's like seventy percent men and it's dark and there's a lot of you know. It's back country. You look Okey up dokey. statistics. Uh, <laughs> check out the podcast. Uh, <laughs> like, share, it? subscribe. Oh, not ours. You're talking. You're no, yeah, yeah. Else's. yeah, yeah. The guy who was there's a guy who breaks um, down all all these uh, statistics on states. Yeah, it's called uh, World According to Briggs, I think. So, oh, I've seen, I've seen that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a yeah. I'm a '90s radio talk host. <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing today, Johnny? What do we got for the ride in? Oh my god, if you live in Tampa and you're a fan and you live in Tampa and you just for a laugh, on Sunday turn on the Buccaneers game. This Their hosts are the funniest. Oh my god <laughs> Like what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. First of all, you're not wrong. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but how dare you? <laughs> How dare you, sir? And uh, we're we're it's it, listen. It's October. Is we're 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 talking about the Yankees going to the World Series right now? Okay, Just, we're not talking about that. That's what we're talking about. Let's go it's Yankees. Not what we're talking about get in the World Series. Uh, then we'll talk about Bucks Nobody football cares. after that. All right, bro. Godspeed. Godspeed. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. Hey, Joe. It's Dan Eats Everything. As long as you cook it right. Um, like, like I said, man, I understand. want less people around. I don't, I don't like people, man. I mean, I guess I don't like a lot of people. People, well... I guess people are cool. I don't want to be deported or depopulated, depopularized. I I I gotta go.